Hey, Sander here. I want to do a little follow-up video on the eye stuff that I've done prior. Uh, I was inspired by one of my teacher's vision. I was talking about his experience. He had to do LASIK surgery um, and then trying to repair his eyes because they're going bad again. And basically came up with have an eye chart in the room, uh, sleep with as little light as possible, and lower your prescription on your glasses so you don't use them as a crutch and try not to wear them that much. Okay, that, that's all good. I just did a lot of experiments with it, so I'm trying to just get a focus on it. My last one I did was where you did these really different exercises. A lot of them, they were interesting. Did 21, it says 21 days, 2020 vision. I did the full thing, not, no change. I mean, I, I had fun, but no change. So the next one I did was called the Outback Vision Protocol. And this is basically based on Aborigines diet of super antioxidants. So. Uh, they created uh, a thing to attack the oxidative stress and it's supposed to help with a bunch of things in the eyes and you have to get this whole laundry list of superfoods together, all these different fruits and vegetables and stuff. Um, great smoothies, the information in the thing was really cool, but I did it for a full six weeks and no change. So that was disappointing as well. Moved back to California and out here, I'm like, okay, I'm going to focus on doing things my own way. And that basically means I've had some great teachers. I studied with Barbara Brennan in the Hands of Light thing. I studied with Amarok and mind healing techniques and put all these things together. I'm really confident in over my overall healing abilities. So I figure I got this. So I'd sit up in the morning and do my Wim Hofish breath work and get myself all focused, you know, visualize my chakras, my energy line and my Merkaba. Thank you, Drew. Do all of these things to get myself in a nice meditative state where I'm, you know, all yay. And then I put my hands in front of my eyes and just visualize as well as feel the energy working there. And I'm like, oh my God, this is working so well. This is so great. I'm going to be doing this. I gave it a full four weeks. After four weeks, there wasn't anything, and I was kind of like giving me a little bit. They let me know nothing, so I said, "Okay, I'm going to do it for the full six weeks." I, I said I was going to do it, so hopefully it's like a light bulb switch. Like when I had my I had Lasix done, when I had it done the next morning, I was able to look around and see black outlines around things. I'm like, "Ooh, that's crisp!" So I was going like, "Maybe that's going to happen, right? Why not?" No, it's six weeks didn't happen. So I was kind of discouraged by that. A little tick, 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 shot to my whole ego about healing, right? Uh, but I also went to an eye doctor after that, and she said that my eyes were healthy. I just didn't have good vision. So I figured that's what that whole thing was, why I just totally healed myself. It was just my eyes healing, not my vision. But... I don't know if it's a mental thing. So right now I'm doing a, a mind valley quest, if you will, and rapid transformational hypnotherapy. Um, so it's basically Marissa talks about putting yourself in a meditative state or a, a hypnotic state with your eyes rolled back and you get into this right and you say positive affirmations to yourself and rewrite the programming. So hopefully along those lines, I can find the point in my time maybe where I said, I don't want to see this outside world, it's too distracting. And then I start closing off my vision to make my world closer and closer. I don't know if that's it either. So basically, in summary, eye healing is tough and there's not really any recommendations I have right now. But I'm going to keep on experimenting. If I find the magical formula, of course, I'll repost and make sure that I get that information down. I'll still try. So that's about it. Uh, hopefully you guys like the video. If you do, thumbs up, please. And uh, subscribe and try to get some more information about all these fun little things that I've kind of learned from some cool people and trying to get it all out there so it's just available. And if you do get a chance, go check out hackydo.org. It writes all the information about how to create your own playground and create ultimate play tools right there and learn how to make three of them. You can learn juggling, starting off with one ball and up to three in about 30 minutes. Learn juggling, a basic cascade. Yay! Bunch of other fun things about how to recreate our playground here, folks. We need more players, so get your play on. Aloha. Mm -hmm.